martialarts.com. The next course at the brown belt level is around pressure points. And uh, first off, I want to uh, kind of define what a pressure point is. A pressure point is usually where a nerve ends or where two nerves cross or multiple nerves cross. Uh, it's a point where if, if it's manipulated in some way, either by pressure or striking, that um, it hurts quite a bit. Uh, there are pressure points virtually throughout the body. And what we're going to start this section is actually on the head and neck. Okay, so if you start in the head, there's, there's actually points in the forehead that you can strike that causes a, a reaction. There, uh, there's another point here in just below the ear, right behind the jawline, this little soft spot right here. And if you take a, a thumb, the end of the thumb, or even a finger, and what you want to do is you want to push this towards the bridge of the nose. Okay, so I'm going to put my thumb in here and push in. And what it does, it causes an extreme amount of pain. Okay, and where this can be used, if I've got someone in here, let's say I've got him in some kind of choke or hold, and he starts getting away from me a little bit, I can hit that point and it sends the pain through his body, and now he, he, it alters his mindset or his thinking process. Okay, also uh, here in the jaw line, right up under the jaw, there's a point right here, and you can feel actually when you run your finger along the jaw line, there's a little divot there. And what this does is you kind of manipulate the point in the same way, but this time we're gonna push it back towards the crown of the head, here, okay? And where you can use this point is if we're in here in a tight, tight position in some type of uh, a grappling position or whatever, I can actually reach under here and grab that point and push up, which causes the head to go back. Now from here, if we're in tight, I can very easily then slide in and take him down. Okay. Also, uh, along with the point here in the back of the ear, there's also one right up under the nose. And this one is, uh, is a good controlling technique. Uh, and if I put these in combination here and then right up under the nose and almost like a clamp, we call it the C clamp. Okay, we're gonna be clamping in here and it creates a tremendous amount of pain. As you see, it makes him rise up off the ground. So virtually I can control him and walk him right out of the room. Okay, one thing you do have to be careful here is keep the other fingers away from his mouth. Keep those fingers up so that you're not here and get bit. Okay, now also, in the neck, okay, there's some, some points here in the neck, uh, right in here. This is usually in kata, where the spear hand goes into. There's the soft tissue here in the neck, but right in behind this tendon or this little muscle here, right in there, again, a nice pressure point. And again, where this can be used, if we're in here tight, I can reach up here with my thumb, pressing in on that. It causes him to rise up and kind of lean backwards a little bit to get away from the pain. And then again, I step in and take down. Uh, the uh, pressure points can be used, like I said, in combination. You know, I can actually use, you know, behind the ear on both sides. A lot of times if, uh, let's say someone's, you know, you've got them on the ground, okay, and you come in here, you're taking them down, maybe strike and you just want to control them. You can slide these hands up, up behind the ears here and pull in on those both sides and it causes a, a good, tremendous amount of pain and you can say, stop, stop, whatever you're doing, stop. Okay, again, I can go this combination and then up under the nose here. Okay, so as you see, there are a number of pressure points in the head and neck that we define and try to understand at that brown belt level in the uh, Chunjido course.